Gaining legendary status as a basketball team isn't easy, and the journey certainly hasn't been smooth for the Golden State Warriors. But what led them from being losers to now a dynasty? In today's video, we'll be talking about the Warriors' history and some of the key figures responsible for their tremendous success. So let's jump right in. Early Years to 1985 The Warriors were initially founded as the Philadelphia Warriors back in 1946 and were owned by a guy named Peter A. Tyrell. The Pro Basketball League had its first season in 1946-47, where the Warriors defeated the Chicago Stags. The NBA formally acknowledges that as its very first title. Further success followed when the Fort Wayne Pistons were defeated by the Warriors in four games to win the 1955-56 NBA title in Philadelphia. Wilt Chamberlain, dubbed Wilt the Stilt, was drafted in 1959 and the Warriors hoped that he was going to be their golden boy. However, it seemed that the 60s was the Boston Celtics time to shine, who kept beating the Warriors over and over again. Chamberlain was then traded to the Philadelphia 76ers. Then the Warriors picked Rick Barry in the first round of 1965, who even won the NBA Rookie of the Year award. Barry later led the team to the NBA Finals in the 1966-1967 round, where they were defeated by Chamberlain's 76ers by a score of four games to two. Must have been pretty humiliating. Relationships soured, and Barry sat out the 1967-68 season and joined with the Oakland Oaks after becoming enraged with management over his contract. Al Adels took over as the head coach during the 1969-70 season, and he proceeded to lead the crew for most of the next 14 seasons. By 1971, the team had been experiencing many years of disappointments and relocated across the East Bay to Oakland, and their name changed to the Golden State Warriors. Barry rejoined in 1972 and led the Warriors to defeat the Washington Bullets in the NBA Finals in 1974-75, which would be their third title. But again, the Warriors' quality of play drastically declined. From 1977 to 1985, five of their nine seasons saw them finish last in their division. Notice a pattern? They seemed to do great in one league and then suck for a long stretch of time after that. Before we move further, please smash those like and subscribe buttons as it really helps us out. And hit the notification bell so you never miss out on future uploads. Now let's continue. Run TMC Era The Warriors gained notoriety in the late 1980s for their distinctive up-tempo approach under head coach Don Nelson, which favored scoring over defense and relied on smaller players. The 1989-90 and 1990-91 teams were popularly referred to as Run TMC. This title was after the first initials of the high-scoring combination of point guard Tim Hardaway, shooting guard Mitch Richmond, and small forward Chris Mullen. These three played some of the most entertaining games of all time, and fans were hooked. But this era was just in passing, and the Warriors managed to miss the playoffs for 12 straight seasons. Nelson even left the Warriors sometime during 1994. Pretty disappointing, right? 2006 to 2018. In the 2006 to 07 season, Nelson rejoined the Warriors, who went to the playoffs for the first time in 13 years. The Warriors then made NBA history by defeating the Dallas Mavericks in the first round of the playoffs, becoming the first lowest seeded team to defeat a top seeded team in a seven game postseason series. Now, this win was pretty big, but the franchise truly struck gold when they drafted Steph Curry in 2009. The Warriors made a postseason comeback in 2012-13, led by their rising star guard Stephen Curry. Before the 2014-15 season, the team hired Steve Kerr as its new head coach and the Warriors rapidly became a force to be reckoned with. That year, they set a franchise record with 67 victories, tied for the fourth most in league history, and made it to the NBA Finals for the first time in 40 years. LeBron James and the much-favored Cleveland Cavaliers made for an unexpectedly strong challenge, but Golden State held them off to win the NBA championship in a six-game series. The Warriors expanded their record-breaking squad by signing superstar Kevin Durant the following offseason. In the 2017 league, the Warriors once again faced the Cavaliers in the NBA Finals. They managed their dominance by only losing to Cleveland once on their way to another NBA championship, making them one of the best teams of all time. Moving on, 2018 was the first time in NBA history that the same two teams faced off in the finals four years in a row, when the Warriors faced off against the Cavaliers yet again. The Warriors ended up defeating the Cavaliers and captured their second consecutive NBA title. 2019 onwards The future of the Warriors dynasty was in jeopardy after Kevin Durant reported a torn Achilles tendon and all-star wing Klay Thompson reported a torn anterior cruciate ligament. 
What's more is that Durant left for the Brooklyn Nets in the offseason. Now, two of Golden State's key players from the previous season were absent going into the 2019-20 league. On top of that, thanks to a fractured hand, Curry was only able to play in five games, and the depleted Warriors team ended up with a ridiculously low record. More disaster followed before the 2020-21 season when Thompson tore his Achilles tendon. But there was still some hope since Curry was back at full strength and the team finished with a winning record. Thompson finally returned to the Warriors for the 2021-22 season and Golden State tied for the NBA's third best regular season record. Their extensive postseason experience paid off in the playoffs as they defeated their four comparatively inexperienced opponents, dropping only six games overall to win their seventh NBA championship. The Warriors' history is a rags-to-riches story like no other. Their trajectory since the beginning has been so interesting that you're bound to be curious. Keep watching to learn the real secrets which made the Warriors go down in history as a dynasty. What exactly makes the Warriors so good? For starters, the Warriors have the finest offense, and the numbers speak for themselves since they have topped the list multiple times. In 2013-14, they were ranked third, and in 2014-15, they were ranked second. Stephen Curry and Kevin Durant can each score 25 points effortlessly, while the other offensive players can all put the ball in the basket with ease. Another contributing factor to the Warriors' success is coach Steve Kerr. When Kerr took over as the coach in 2014, the squad reached a whole new level. Under his wing, the Warriors have consistently won more than 55 regular season games. He was also their coach when they had their record-breaking 73-9 season. Additionally, the interim coaches who typically step in for Kerr ensure that the Warriors maintain their strength and perform to their full ability. Another piece of the puzzle was the legendary Bob Myers. Myers has been the general manager of the team for 10 years, during which the team has had eight playoff appearances, multiple trips to the NBA Finals, and four championships. Some of the key decisions he's made are hiring Steve Kerr and bringing in the big guns, including Klay Thompson and Kevin Durant. All glitter aside, the ultimate fact is that these guys are truly passionate about the game. Golden State has not only selected talented players, but has also allowed them to grow within the framework of the team. Each all-star athlete has consistently gotten better from season to season. Other players have been given greater opportunities to play a bigger part as their knowledge and skills advance. Besides this, the fact that the players are prepared to make sacrifices in order for the team to flourish is the reason why the Warriors are having the kind of success they are. Stephen Curry, their point guard, set the examples by accepting Kevin Durant, a four-time scoring champion, into the squad. Being a back-to-back -back MVP with a championship ring, he didn't really need to make the sacrifice. But still, Curry chose to give up minutes, touches per game, and his own reputation in order to make place for another superstar. Even Kevin Durant chose to give up almost $10 million after winning his first NBA championship. The reason? It was the free up space for the Warriors to re-sign Andre Iguodala and Sean Livingston. The team went on to win their third championship in four years as a result of this. In the end, the Golden State Warriors have developed a strong camaraderie and have become the team that they are now, dominating the league like no other team has ever done. And with that, today's video comes to a close. Do you agree that the Golden State Warriors might be the best team in basketball history? Share your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.